Okay, I wanted to do a quick video here, uh, just talking about some of the earlier signs that a female ball python might be gravid. Uh, this is Charlotte here. She's my spider ball. And I am fairly certain that her breeding has been successful. She is gravid. And I'll be getting eggs out of her uh, probably in a couple months. She's still at the earlier stages. A um, couple things you look for early on. Um, she hasn't eaten in several weeks. She's refused all her meals the past couple weeks. That's a pretty good sign, especially when you have an animal like her that has a history of being a really good feeder. Um, typically, as their belly starts to fill up with uh, developing follicles, they lose interest in food. Um, another thing you can look for, uh, she's not doing it right now because I disturbed her, uh, is the way they're sitting, or laying, as the case may be. Uh, when I opened her tub up, she was in a perfect, tight, perfectly round coil. It's, ball pythons generally don't sit in a perfectly tight round coil. They do sometimes, but generally the position she's in now is more of a natural position for a ball python to be laying, or even, uh, let's see here. That's more a typical position for a ball python, how autumn is right now. Um, other things you can look for with position is uh, sometimes they'll be inverted or twisted odd ways. Those are usually later along in egg development. Uh, another thing you can look for is uh, you'll hear sometimes ball python breeders referring to a snake as glowing or getting their glow, uh, which is a hormonal color change when their follicles begin to get some size to them. And Charlotte's starting to lose her glow now. A couple days ago, though, if we can zoom in here, the top of her head was the same color as her ocular stripes, and back here, this is all very light, and you can see the stripe down her back is still a little more pronounced than it normally is. So she's starting to lose her glow, but she did get it. It's a color change that you can look for, which is a pretty good indicator. It's usually one of the first indicators. And if we get her out here... You'll see, as you go down, you get to a very pronounced bump in the stomach. Right about there. Um, that swelling is from her follicles starting to develop, get some size to them. Which generally doesn't happen until they've been fertilized. Or, uh, or getting to the point of where they're going to be fertilized. Uh, basically the follicles are getting bigger for ovulation. Um, ovulation is the real point you want to look for where you know the snake is definitely going to lay eggs. Um, seeing that building, I know she is approaching ovulation. Uh, she's probably a couple weeks away from it. And that's generally a real good indicator that the breeding has been successful. Now I'll still continue to pair her up with the male that she's been breeding with. Uh, until I see the ovulation, which, like I said, it's probably going to be a couple weeks from now. Some people palpate or feel for the follicles. I don't, uh, just because I'm not good at it. Um, it gives them an indication of how many eggs they can expect. Usually after they ovulate, about a week after they ovulate, I can tell how many eggs they're going to have just by looking at them. You can see the outline of the eggs. But those are some of the things you can look for early on in a female to know if your breeding is being successful or not. I'm fairly certain I will definitely get eggs out of her this season. And I will continue to pair her up probably two or three more times until I see that ovulation. And then from ovulation, it's 45 days till she dropped those eggs. And... There's a good close-up of Charlotte, all those green eyes.